Have you ever thought about the phases of the moon? You know, how there's a crescent moon, there's a half moon, a full moon, or sometimes no moon at all. Well, it's actually a little more complicated than you'd expect. So on today's Stonehouse Hypothesis, we're going to be going into exactly what's up with the phases of the moon. Let's start with a quick definition. The moon's phases are defined as eight predetermined shapes of the moon's sunlit portion as viewed from Earth. But what does that actually mean? Well, light from the sun hits the moon and is reflected to the Earth as moonlight, but the amount of the moon's surface that is illuminated by the sun actually stays at about 50%, as you can see here. So if the same amount of moon sees the sun throughout its entire 27-day orbit, where do the phases come from? Well, here on Earth, we only see part of the moon's illuminated surface. The rest is covered by its own shadow. So thanks to the moon's orbit and our Earth-bound perspective, we don't always see the bright moon. Instead, we see the moon's eight phases.